people, good morning. My name is Royal. It is just after sunrise in my backyard in Hearst, Texas. I'm here to do my morning devotional. And yes, I have a jacket on. Two reasons, mosquitoes, and it's cool out here. It's pretty cool out here. So I'm comfortable and right now mosquito free. So uh, yesterday talked to you about um, worry, stress, being able to let go of stress. And I figured, you know, for a Wednesday, I might as well cover that. I might as well follow that up with a little bit more dealing with stress. Today I'm being Philippians 4, 6, and 7. And um, I don't know, I, stress just kind of dominates our lives. And, uh, and it's easy to make it be the only thing you think about is the worry. Now, what I have found for me as a believer is that when things are worrying me, that I realize, hey, I'm focusing on that thing too much. And, and you know how it is when you, when you focus on things, how it just seems to get bigger. So when we worry, it, you know, let's just say you're worried about a project at work and, and that's all you can think about. You're not thinking about meeting the needs of your kids and your family and whatever you're stressing out and you're focusing on that what happens is is that thing gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger to the point where it just eclipses you it eclipses you so the weight of it on your on your mind and on your heart and the, the problem with that is that when that overwhelms you it is taking the place of God in your life so we shift gears we shift gears. Um, you start focusing on God instead. Look, this thing isn't going to change. Uh, you you can do what you want with this thing the best that you possibly can, but the bottom line is this this the stress of this isn't going to go away unless you can refocus on God. So look, you start focusing on God. You still work. You still, you get back and you relax, you put things back in priority, you start focusing on God, and then God grows. Now, when God overwhelms you, overgrows you, then, then you have peace. When the problem overgrows you, you have stress. So, hey, let me just pray the Lord's Prayer before we look at this uh, verse. Father in heaven, today may we keep your name holy above every other name. May we serve you all day long, Lord. Would you give us what we need to be who you want us to be? Would you forgive us of our sins and point out the sins we need to ask forgiveness for? May we forgive those who hurt us so we're better and not bitter. Lord, would you protect us from the negative influences around us all day long? And Lord, we'll give you the glory today for every single thing that happens. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. So here we go. Philippians 4, 6, and 7. Quick sip of coffee. Don't worry about anything. <laughs> that's, that's, there's nothing vague about that. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Well, what do you mean, Roy? Like I get on my knees. No, you just, an ongoing conversation in your spirit with God where you're just praying about it. And, you're, and, and then listen, listen. Tell God what you need. And what you have to realize, you don't always know what you need. So you tell God what you think you need. And then the thing that's going to rel relax the stress is this. And thank Him for all He has done. You know, thank Him for all He's done. We just had two major hurricanes hit off the coast of the USA. Uh, humongous, uh, humongous earthquake has just hit Mexico. There's fires burning all over the place, and we're worried about a project, or we're worried about this or that. And man, you have a lot to be thankful for. I have a lot to be thankful for. So we thank God for what He has done. Then, then, after you thank Him, you pray about what you need and you thank Him, then you will experience God's peace. God's peace. And look, God's peace exceeds anything that we can understand. That's what it says. God's peace which exceeds anything we can understand. And then His peace will guard your hearts 
and your minds as you live in Christ Jesus. So as you're focusing on God, as you're focusing on Jesus, that becomes the big thing in your life. And it doesn't block the way. It doesn't overwhelm you like that. It gives you a clarity. It gives you a peace as you look forward. It helps you do the things that you've got to do and put them in priority. And, and, and it gives you a peace that passes all understanding in Christ Jesus. Isn't that awesome? Hey, what's stressing you out? What's causing the problems in your life? I promise you, you can refocus and you can change that, but it takes doing it. It takes faith. It takes trust. It takes trust in God that He is going to meet your needs and be who you need Him to be. Remember, He knows your needs better than you know your needs, and He loves you better than you can even love yourself. So here's the prayer that I wrote for the day. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for loving me. Thank you for caring so much about me. I will trust you today. You know what I need and you will provide. Every time I get anxious, I will lay back on you and receive your comfort and strength. Your peace is what I want. I will receive it when I will receive it even if I have to reload and receive again today over and over and over. Your peace will guard my heart and keep me on track. Thank you, Father, for loving me. Hey, what are you struggling with? Give me a comment. I will reply. Uh, share this with others. Subscribe. You know the drill. Anyway, God bless. I'll see you tomorrow, Thursday. The good Lord will and then the creek don't rise. But until then, love God. Love people. God will use you to change the world. I promise. Thank you. God bless.